welcome to our channel again. Yes. Today in our video we are going to be talking about how we met. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, this is the story of how we met. Okay, so many, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. How many years ago? I think going on eight. Something like that. Something like that. All I know is I'm 24 now, and at the time I was 15. And I'm 27. I was 15. That was like nine years ago. Well, how we first knew each other. We. I'm getting into it. That's before everything. Okay. Getting into it. So we hadn't met at this point yet, technically. Um, it was Instagram. So he, this was when I had like no followers. I had probably like less than a hundred followers because I had just made my account. And this guy was following all the young ladies in the land. And he followed me on Instagram. Okay. And I knew, I knew everybody pretty much on my Instagram account. So when he followed me, I was like, who's this? Like, Okay, but I'll follow you back. Cool. You have like a lot of followers. You had like over 10,000 followers. Somewhere. I did. Like, yeah, something like that. I did. So I assumed, I, I was do. like, he probably going to unfollow me. He's going to be those follow to unfollow type people. But he actually didn't. He kept following me. So I was like, okay, cool. So we'll just stay following each other. That's cool. I thought he was handsome, but I never reached out to him or anything like that because I just didn't think he was my type. I just and I and I was just in my own world. I knew he lived far away. I was in California. He was in Minnesota. Um, I didn't know he lived in Minnesota because I didn't stock his page that much. I was in California some too, though. But that's later. I was back then too. Okay, I'm gonna let her finish off. <laughs> I didn't know where he was at because I wasn't really on his page. I was just like, okay, we're following each other. Cool. Bet so. Years went by, living life, like every every once in a while, like when his picture I'll see him on my um, on my newsfeed, whatever you want to call it. And then Instagram had that algorithm where like you know you don't see everybody on your timeline no more. It's just like whoever you see is who you see. It's not every single one of your followers. So I stopped seeing him for a while, kind of forgot about him. I was like okay, like he's just one of those faces that's like in the back of my memory bank somewhere. And then fast forward forever to 2019. Then I had seen him for the first time on my new feed in a really long time. And I was like, oh, I remember this guy. His whole name changed. He Back then, like many years ago, he was Gizzy Boy. For all of y'all that remember <laughs> Gizzy Boy. Okay. That was my entertainment name back then. Yes. With two by B O Y Y. Yes. <laughs> he was a Gizzy Boy and he was a rapper, a poet. He lived this great, lavish lifestyle, whatever. That's what I interpreted it as because I lived a normal suburban life. To me, I don't know. But he, to, when I saw him, I was like, wow, he's living great, doing his thing, whatever, whatever. But he just seems like too much of a pretty boy, anyway. So fast forward again to 2019. I see him. He's Gizwa Pierre now. My real name. Gizwa Pierre Jr. And he has My on real this. Name. He has on this fedora hat and a nice oh, like. He was feeling your boy. <laughs> he had on this nice outfit. Like back then, he used to dress like. I don't know how you would say. Streetwear. Like streetwear. There you go. Like, still, still got some nice shimmings, but. You know, but and th now like he's all he's dressed very nicely. He's talking about business, he's on the rooftop, I'm like, wow, he's doing his thing, like, I remember you, that was forever ago, like, that I was, I was seeing you, and you were Gizzy Boy, now you're Gizzy Boy Pierre, I was like, hmm, really? but he was talking about his property business, and he was talking about giving back to the community and all that, so I was like, oh, that, like, touched my heart, I was like, oh, like, congratulations, so, what did I do? I DM'd him, I was like... She DM'd me. <laughs> she DM'd me. And he takes pride in this. She DM'd me. DM. I, I slid in his DM. Goes down in the DM. It wasn't <laughs> even on no, like, I like you, I think you're cute type stuff. It was really genuine, and it was like, I said, 
what did I say? Congratulations on all your achievements. We need more men like you in our world. I love when I see people doing, like giving back to the community, to the community. So I messaged him that and I just left it at that. Didn't think he was gonna read it because by this time he had like 60,000 followers. I'm still at like a thousand. I just felt like kind of irrelevant. I was just like, yes, I'm just gonna do it. And he did respond and he was very nice about it. And then we just started talking. And then, um, I remember what really sparked my interest in our DM conversation was when he started getting into more, like, spiritual things. I did tell him that I, like, had been following him for a while, and that I remember, like, seeing his progression, and then we just got deeper into the conversation. Over seven years. Over seven. It's a long time. It was more than seven years, apparently. Yeah. So... But he, we started talking about like spiritual stuff, and that's what really I was like, ooh, like he's spiritual too. Like, okay. No, it was more than seven years. It was, it was like eight. 2012. I don't know. 12, 13, All I know 14, is I was 15. 16, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yeah, that's about. That's about. I was 15 years old. I'm 24 now. I met you while well, I started talking to you. I was 26. Right. So, yeah. So. But anyway, I'll let him take it from here because now he's. He's in the bubble now. <laughs> yeah, anyway, well. This is where we started talking. And like, we were in our conversation in the DM. So I did follow her a long time ago. I followed a lot of people back then. Um, <laughs> I followed a lot of people back then, mostly women. She's right. <laughs> She's right. From 2012 when I started my Instagram channel and then just continued to... Um, upgrade everything so you know and then years later exactly how she told it is exactly how it happened she definitely um she definitely wrote me she and we started talking from there she wrote me a dm i wrote her back she was really nice about things because usually women that write to dm they a lot of them are pretty cool but then a lot of them also um it'd be kind of weird it just get kind of weird and the person that i am I do many different things. I'm a professional athlete, and I just do a bunch of different things. So you gotta really be careful with uh, the type of people that you um, that you come across. And that, and I was just being really careful. But I did follow her, and she was following me for a long time. We started talking, and she knew a lot more than I expected for her to know. Only things that people would know if they followed me from 2000. Oh, like knew well. about you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she yeah. knew she knew things about me. Um, from 2012, like way back then, that only people would know if they follow me. So that's how I knew she was following me for a long time and that it, you know, it was genuine. It was a really nice message. So from there, we just started messen messaging each other and, um, and started talking. She was spiritual, I was spiritual, I did music, she did music. And just everything that, that I wrote on my paper as far as what I wanted out of a woman and, and what was my ideal woman, um, she met all of the cri criteria. Nobody's perfect, but she met all, <laughs> she met all of the criteria of what I wanted um, as far as what I see myself in the future with. And then she also had the same thing. She also wrote down on a piece of paper um, the things I that did. she wanted out of a man. And uh, I, I met her. Well, we told each other this yeah. later, but it's just funny that we both did the same thing. You know, we did the same thing, and now we're here. And, she was right, you know, she definitely told me that we definitely have an opportunity to be together and that we should be together. Um, this was a little later. This was a little later. So we, you're, so, you're kind of skipping. Okay, so in between that skipping time, in, in between us, <laughs> in between uh, in between us talking on Instagram and just catching up on things from way back then, um, I said, we talked and she said this is the the this is this is going to be a famous line forever this is going to be famous forever so the type of person that i am i always just do everything by myself right i don't need like nobody a, no it's not nobody we have a team you know but i don't need like a woman to you know i can handle it myself i believe in 50 50 you know but she, I said, uh, who does the go the go to guy go to? And she said, a woman. And I was like, it was way more dramatic than that. It, uh, okay. He said, he was like, I I got a question for you. 
who does a go-to guy go to? He and he was like, no, he started off. He was like, I've asked so many people this question, and I women. always get the same type of in women. I always get the same type of answers, and I just want to see your perspective on it. And I was like, okay, like I thought I was gonna take a minute to formulate because he was like making a big deal out of it. Who does the go-to guy go to? I'm like the woman like duh and he's okay, like she takes it that way yes that was the way that i guess it was opposed that's the way that it went but right? he started flipping out like he was just like like his whole world not his whole world but everything like just crumbled not not even crumbled but he was just enlightened that's how i think yeah it was, like, it was a, one of those moments like, where you think you it's one of those moments where you think that you know so much when, when really you find out that you know so little. So I'm always a person that learn from life and just learn from the opportunities at hand. So it, it was just one of those things where it's just like, you know what? And especially the situation that I was in at the time was that I was just moving around a lot and just doing everything that I was doing with businesses and, and just a bunch of different things. And I didn't honestly really even want a, want a relationship at the time or Neither of us did. Neither of us did. Alright. Really? Any of those things. So it was just one of those things where like I wasn't looking, I wasn't like trying to trying to do any of that really at all at the moment. I was just moving back and forth and just doing what I doing what I was doing. Um so then after that this is where uh she was right, you know. It was one of those moments for me where I was like, you know what, you're right. You know what I can I can we could be cool and try this thing out and, and see where it leads to and it's just it was a very mature moment that I heard from a very mature woman um you know it was just really really mature and I learned those things from my grandmothers and so forth and so on but it was that thing where it's like all right well you know, I'm not gonna let an opportunity pass me up um and I can see what this is about and that's and that's how we hit off so then after she told me that and like we went through this whole shabako Five five yeah, we went through this whole little thing. So then I was like, you know what? How about you come to Minnesota where I'm at at the time? Mm -hmm. You know, and she was like, you know what? I can come out there with you and we can, you know, see where this things go and let's just meet. Let's just see where our energy is when we meet each other. Mm -hmm. And then she came, she flew out here, you know, we met. And it was you really know. great. Now, now, hold on. Let me tell you this. <laughs> Let me tell you this. I was walking through the airport, you know, like a boss. I walked through the airport. And I walked down to the area that she's in. I didn't see her at first. I Next thing you know. I saw a mile away. It wasn't it. So she seen me from a long. So next thing you know, I'm walking. I see this woman running towards me. I'm about to take off running, though, because I don't know what's going on in the airport. I'm about to take off. So I was like, oh. So after a while, when she got closer and closer, I had to stop. And then when she got closer, and I was like, oh, there she is. And that was our first time meeting. And then we hugged. And when we hugged, it was like a, it was like a yin and yang thing, you know, vice versa. So it was like, it was like white on rice. You could just tell. It was one of those things. So then we hugged, we talked, and then... um. We sat at the airport for a little minute, walked outside. It was hot, too. It was hot that yeah. day in Minnesota. Like, yeah, it was super hot. Okay. And then we just talked and then went back to the house, um, talked. And then we went to, um, we didn't do nothing spectacular. We just went no, on a walk. No, we went. He showed me the city. He showed little me around bit, yeah, and everything. I got to see all the city lights. and everything. I've never been to, mm -hmm. at that point, I've never been to Minnesota or downtown anywhere, really. Um... So I, he took me around and showed me around, showed me the river. It was really cute, yeah. really sweet, and we just, we were just spending time together. And then from me being in Minnesota and me spending time with him and us spending time with each other, we just realized like, yeah, I think this is something we want to do. This like we want to be together. Yeah, we went to, we actually went to. We went to, we walked around the city. We did no that night. We actually had went to Pizza of Luce that night. Remember? Yes. We went to Pizza Lucy and got some pizza and stuff, but yeah, so that's how we met, and then um, we didn't go, we didn't like do nothing super spectacular, we just really like enjoyed each other's time. That's, <coughs> how, that's how we are though, like we, we're not super uh, out there, we just kind of like to spend time with each other. <laughs>
like because yeah. we get along so well and our energy just match so well it we just enjoy being in each other's company so that's just how it was from the beginning and we have like we're conjoined with businesses with each other like what i do she do she, what she do i do except like makeup and all that stuff like i don't do get i don't put on makeup and none of that but that's I what she that's is. a given but you know i don't shave my legs you know all those womanly things i don't do those things but anyways so back to what we were talking about so we just kind of do <laughs> we just kind of do everything along with each other in businesses and stuff like that what i will say um is that if you do meet someone if anybody if you're watching this or whatever if you do meet someone just make sure that you know they're kind of along the lines or are along the lines with your morals of life and what you what you respect in life and what you actually do because a lot of people um, get with people that they have two completely opposite sides of life but there's nothing wrong with it if you can balance it out but if you can be with someone that y'all kind of have the same purposes in life and y'all can do the same things Y'all would naturally understand each other that much more and that much better and don't have to, like, really, really push the envelope for someone to understand that you might do music or you might need to stay in the studio late at night or you might, you know, someone that doesn't do that is not going to really understand the process of, of how that works. You know, all right, you're a CEO, you're a boss, you're a chairwoman, chairman. Someone that doesn't have their own company doesn't understand all the logistics um, that comes with owning your company. So for us, we're just we're 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 just so compatible compatible <laughs> with each other, and it's and it's so great, you know. She she's a very loving woman and very patient, um, and we do along the lines of everything. And she's everything that I need. You know, I'm not sure if I'm everything that she needs, but you're more than what I need. <laughs> you have more. You know, so we love our kids. We have our yeah. family. We're gonna have more kids. Um, yeah, we got a big family, just, it's just so compatible. When you know, you know. Um, when you know, you know. And we are true advocates of love. If you love somebody, show them. Tell them. And keep people up out of your business. Period. Because <laughs> everybody got their own opinions, and y'all y'all opinions are the only ones that matter with each other. So keep everybody up out of your business, and, and don't even, don't even entertain it. Don't, none of that. Stay loving each other. Stay working with each other. Stay building with each other because at the end of the day, that's most that's that's what's most important. That y'all have each other back. Y'all love each other. Y'all stay with each other. And y'all just and there's trust me. Building an empire, building a, a kingdom, queendom, whatever you want to call it. Building that thing with your or family. Even just a family. Just building a family. A family. It takes it definitely takes a lot of work, but you can do it. And just just continue to build. Don't push it, don't um, force it, it's going to come when it's going to come, and I'm happy, she asked for my happy, my happiness, she's not my happiness, she asked for my happiness, and that's what's most important, I'm just saying for her, right. you know, so, that's, true. that's really how we met, and ever since then, we just been doing our thing, doing our thing. posting, <laughs> yeah, so, do you have any other questions from us, or? Um, you got something else to say to you? No, we were just happy to share that story with you, how we met. We just wanted to give you guys a little bit more into who we are, where we come from. Um, we're probably going to be doing more videos, too. Yeah, we're going to be doing um, Of actually where we come from and yeah. those things. But we wanted to focus on how we met for this. That's video. how we met. CDM OG Poppy G. T D M. I did. And I'm and you know what? Changed my life for the better forever. And I'm glad that she actually did DM me. If she wanted to DM me, my life would have been a little bit different right now. It's always great, but the fact that she's in it makes everything that much better for me. You know, so. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, you guys. And watch out for our next video. Make sure you subscribe to the official, the official, the official, the, the official, official GP family. Thank you.